Hello everyone, this is the new Google TV streamer 4K that was released on September 2024. I just want to read quickly the details on the box. It says Google TV streamer 4K and it has some information on the back. It says Google streamer 4K with voice remote, 32 gigabytes of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Porcelain is the color and included is the Google TV streamer, the power cable, power adapter, Google TV streamer, voice remote and two AAA batteries. It supports Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision, Google TV, HDMI, HD, HDR, 4K, Chromecast, supports Matter and supports Thread. Now let's open the box and see what's inside. So you have the streamer. This is the HDMI port to connect to TV. You need an HDMI cable because it's not included in the package. The streamer has an Ethernet port to connect to internet in case Wi-Fi is not working. A USB port to connect to power and the reset button. This reset button serves three functions. First as a remote finder, second to pair Bluetooth devices and third to reset your device to factory settings in case you're having issues. A quick start guide, a guide with instructions that help you set up the device. This is the remote. The remote is a little bit bigger than the one for the previous Chromecast. The previous one has the volume buttons on the side, but this one has the buttons in the front. And two AAA batteries. There is also the power cable on the side, as you can see here. And the power adapter. Okay, perfect. So the streamer, the power adapter, user manual, two batteries, power cable, and the remote. So I'm gonna put this together. So the power cable goes in the streamer here, like this. And then the power adapter Let's put the batteries in the remote. Now I'm going to connect the streamer to my TV and I'm going to show you the steps to set it up. So as I said previously, you need an HDMI cable to connect the streamer to your TV. So you just connect the cable to the HDMI port on your streamer. Now locate the HDMI port on your TV and connect the other end. Once the Google TV streamer 4K is connected to your TV, you will see the logo, the Google TV logo. And after that, you will see this screen. Normally, your remote should pair automatically with your streamer. If it's not, you just need to hold down these two buttons, the home button and the arrow at the same time until the LED light lights up on your remote, then let go. So let's pair the remote. Hold down for a few seconds. 
I can see the light on my remote and my remote is now paired choose English then country this step is very important so you have to choose between two options you can either start setting up your streamer with your remote or with your phone so it's gonna be the same steps and the same procedure if you want to use your phone you need to install an application called Google Home it's already installed in my phone open the application tap on devices add Google Nest or partner device press here you will see your information tap next looking for devices Google TV streamer found yes you will automatically get the camera on your phone you just need to scan the QR code showing on your TV and if you want to use the phone you just scan the QR code and follow instructions on your phone until you finish the setup if you want me to show you how it works I can do it another time but today I'm gonna do it with the remote so with the remote you just scroll down to this link right here and press set up on TV instead the OK button is the button in the middle this one right here so just press OK now select your Wi-Fi and enter your password so now once you have entered your Wi-Fi password you just press the check mark to continue connecting connected now enter your Google account so I'm gonna enter mine here press again the arrow on the right to continue now you will have to enter your Google account password you need a Google account and a Wi-Fi connection so now I'm gonna enter the password for my Google account you can press the arrow here to get upper cases or lower cases once you have entered your Google account password you just press again the arrow next so I'm just gonna confirm my email address my Google account on my phone to be able to continue this is the terms of service you just press accept now you can accept or refuse Google services uh, this is optional so I'm gonna disable this location I don't want to share my location turn off usage turn off no problem go back so everything is disabled now tap accept to continue stay in the no no thanks search across all your TV apps yes you can allow this so I'm just gonna say no thanks for now choose a home so I'm gonna go with the same the same one you see here my name and then choose a room bedroom okay let's go with family room next you choose your applications choose your services so I'm gonna choose this one this one just a couple of applications to be able to continue then confirm press confirm on your remote Google TV streamers remote is set up press OK in your remote to continue setting up your TV it's gonna take a few minutes so we we'll just wait adding finishing touches multiple profiles scroll down and press go to Google TV so you have for you movies shows apps library and you have the settings you have settings on the right so I'm not gonna show you how to install apps it's very easy you know how to do that 
uh, there are two ways to install applications. Either you do that in Google Play Store or use an application called Downloader. So I'm going to show you. Let's find Google Play Store first. I'm just going to search with my voice. Hold down the button, the voice button on your remote and just say the name of the application you're looking for. Google Play Store. Okay. So this is Google Play Store. You can install apps. You can go back or you can go back to apps here and search by category. You have entertainment, music, video players, tools, lifestyle, sports, news, and magazines, productivity, education, health, communication, business. You can install applications by category. S scroll up. You can go to reorder here and reorganize your applications. Just press reorder. Find the application you want to move, press OK in your remote and move the application to the beginning. Let's do this one. Here, YouTube, the beginning, Netflix, here. Once you're done with your apps, press done. Now, what if an application is not available in Google Play Store? If it's not available in Google Play Store, you can use another application called Downloader. This allows you to sideload any apps missing in Google Play Store, but you need a code or a link to install the application, for example, for your, for example, for your TV subscriptions and so on. So to install Downloader, if you cannot find it with your voice, go to apps, scroll down to categories and go to tools. In tools, you will find this application. It's this one right here. It's Downloader. Tap install. Open the application, press OK. Now press again OK. You can add a link here or code for your subscriptions and then press Go. You have settings. You can go to settings. In settings, you have display and sound resolution. The most important option here is resolution. You can change the resolution of your streamer. Let's go back. Network and internet. You can scroll down, select your network, and check the signal strength. It has to be excellent. Scroll down again. If you have an issue, just press forget. Forget this network. You need to go back, select your Wi-Fi, and enter your password. Let's go to Accounts and Sign-in. In Accounts and Sign-in, you will be able to change your Google account or add another account or uh, reset your device to factory settings. If you go here in your email, scroll down, you will be able to remove your account from here. And if you press Remove and Reset Device, this will erase your streamer. You have to set it up again. Now in apps, you have all the apps you have installed. Press see all apps. These are the apps available in my streamer. If an application is crashing or you're having problem streaming that application, just select the application you want to fix. I'm going to give you the example of YouTube. Press OK. And then just press for stop. That will fix the problem. If it's not, you can un uninstall it from here and install it again from Google Play Store. And you can also tap clear cache and clear data as well. That will also fix the problem. In system, you have a lot of information. If you go to about, you will see system update. You can 
manually update your device but you don't have to do that because updates are done automatically once in a while so it says here last successful check for update was today at 4 17 pm so i don't need to run any updates manually factory reset to reset your device to factory settings and set it up again you have date and time this is very important if date and time is not adjusted you will have connection problems make sure date and time is always correct and you have remotes and accessories in remotes and accessories you will be able to pair a new remote or a new accessory like bluetooth headphones and so on that's where you can do that so i'm not gonna go over all these details i'm gonna share other videos in the coming days about different features one more information one last information i would like to share with you is the button on the back of the streamer you have a button on the back of the streamer this button right here does three things first to find your remote to find the misplaced or lost remote once you press the button your remote will emit a sound you just press any button on the remote to stop it next if you press longer for three or four minutes you will be able to pair any bluetooth devices to your streamer keep on holding for four or five seconds searching for accessories and if you press again longer for 14 or 15 seconds you will be able to factory data reset your streamer i hope this video helped you set up your google tv streamer stay tuned because i have more interesting videos in the coming days subscribe like and comment see you on the next video Grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win in life. I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, jam to the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing what I mean.